Hello, and welcome to the Clubs and Organizations Overview with Career Services. My name is Caitlin Garrison, and I work in the Career Services Department as a career coach and also the point of contact for clubs and organizations here at Columbia Southern University. Today, we're going to go over all of the clubs and organizations offered at Columbia Southern University. And this is a list of all of those that are offered. Some of these are for active students only, some are for alumni only, and some are for both. How to tell would be within the description per the club or organization that's located on our main website. So I'm gonna show you how to locate the clubs and organizations for active students and alumni. So the first thing you would do is go to columbiasouthern.edu and this should be the home page that you see. You'll hover over the student support tab and then click on student life. If you happen to click on the student support tab, you can also go to the student life section as well. And then on the left side of the screen under student life, you'll see clubs and organizations. This will be the list for active students. And again, how you can tell if this is for students active or alumni, you can click view more information and there will be more information there on each organization as well as if an invitation is to be sent if you can simply fill out an application and to connect with the CSU specific Facebook page associated with each organization. Now to locate if this is for alumni only, it doesn't matter what page you're on on our main website. If you scroll to the bottom of the page, you'll see popular links. Under popular links, you'll click the alumni section or option and you'll scroll down and at the bottom right hand side of the screen, you'll see the little tennis shoe icon, alumni clubs and organizations. This will show you where the alumni clubs and organizations are. Obviously there are some overlap as some are for active students and some are for alumni only, but some are for both. So again, you will see some of the information on both pages. Again, you can click view more information um, and the same information is going to show here. Usually there is a quick link to the organization as well as email address and contact information. This particular organization looks different than the previous one I clicked on because it is invitation only. So back to the presentation at hand. So we're gonna go through again each of these that are offered. So the National Society for Leadership and Success, Omega Nu Lambda, American Society of Safety Professionals, Society for Human Resource Management, American Criminal Justice Association, Order of the Sword and Shield, Delta Epsilon Tau Honor Society, the National Fire Academy Executive Fire Officer Program, and Student Veterans Association. So first is the National Society of Leadership and Success. This was the last one that I had clicked on, um, but to touch base on this is that CSU does select students and alumni for membership based on their academic standing. This is an invitation only honor society, so you have to have met a 3.5 GPA and have completed at least 12 credit hours of coursework at CSU. Each course is three credit hours. So these invitations are sent twice a year. The National Society of Leadership and Success is designed to enhance leadership skills. There is an induction process that's completely online, but there are pre-induction and post-induction benefits for students and alumni interested. For the benefits for pre-induction, there is a job bank specific and internship bank 
for those students, as well as speaker broadcasts, partner discounts, awards, and a leadership connection collection, to name a few. There is much more information on the NSLS website if you are interested in seeing those benefits pre-induction and post-induction. Again, you can click within our website to get to the National Society of Leadership and Success website to view that. Next is Omega Nu Lambda. This is our newest honor society. We established a chapter in March of 2020 and have sent out one invitation uh, period for students so far. This is specific to active students only. And it's special because it is for online students only as well. Again, with it being invitation only, students must hold a 3.2 or higher GPA and have a completed 15 credit hours in order to fall on the list to be invited. We do currently have scholarships in the work for this institute, not institution, but organization. And it provides really a unique online community for online students. And it's also very good for networking because you can network with the Omega Nu Lambda members uh, within the organization. Next is the American Society of Safety Professionals. CSU does have a virtual section from the local Mobile, Alabama chapter, but the ASSP is a global association for occupational safety and health, environmental professionals um, that in hopes to advance the interest of its members in the profession and the profession. However, with CSU students all over the globe, students can attend any other ASSP meeting as a guest. Um, if there is a lunch or dinner fee, that will have to be paid if applicable. And some of the benefits for this organization specifically does have a specific job board associated with its members, career support, and again, a great networking opportunity. You will hear me say networking opportunity throughout the entirety of this presentation because all of these do create good networking opportunities in the specific niche of each. The Society of Human Resource Management. Now this is to acquaint students seeking careers in management, human resources, human resources management, or labor relations with current issues and trends in these fields. This is really to help students, CSU students, in professional development preparation for that job search process. Again, scholarships are available to apply for for members only. Webcasts, sample documents, and how-to guides are also included. And active students can sign up for the student membership, but there's also a professional and global membership available for non-students if there is an interest here. The American Criminal Justice Association. Membership in this particular club is composed of individuals employed in that field of study. So the criminal justice system or taking courses in the criminal justice uh, area at an accredited college or university at the time the application is submitted, as it says here. Again, this is one of those that is for alumni, students, or faculty members who meet the criteria listed with on the website. Again, some of the benefits here include a specific job bank access, honor awards and conferences. Now with the Order of the Sword and Shield, this is an association, again, here to touch base on this slide that represents Homeland Security intelligence and protective security academic disciplines. This 
organization has the goal of peace and safety for all, the protective security profession must utilize the knowledge as a primary tool for the accomplishment of this objective. To touch base on some of the benefits here would be, again, networking with high achieving opportunities here, lifelong membership. There are very specific criteria that have to be met for this organization. It will again be listed within the CSU website under the particular order of the sword and shield section, but it will be different for undergraduate and graduate. Undergraduate being associate's degree, bachelor's degree, graduate, master's. Um, with the undergraduate degree, you will have to have a 3.25 GPA, graduate a 3.5, uh, cumulative or higher for all credits, including transfer credits, or be in the top 20% of your class standing. Completion of one half the total number of credits required for your overall program, including completion of one half of all credits in the Homeland Security, Intellig Intelligence, Emergency Management, or Protective Studies in ASBS, Minor, or Master's, Doctoral, or Certificate Program. So again, very specific criteria for these applicants have to be met. I do urge you, if you have an interest in this particular organization, to review the detailed information on our website. Now the Delta Epsilon Tau Honor Society, this again is recognizing achievements of individuals who have worked diligently, again how it says here, to acquire new knowledge and skills from an accredited distance learning institution. This is for alumni only, so you will have to be an alumni with a bachelor's, master's, or doctoral degree, doctorate. You must have a minimum of a 3.8 GPA as well. Again, very specific information. I urge you to look on our website for further information, but to touch on some of the benefits here, lifetime membership, letters of recommendation uh, as well if requested, and again, network opportunities with all the chapters of Delta Epsilon Honor Society, Tau Honor Society. In the National Fire Academy Executive Fire Officer Program, this is for alumni interested in furthering their careers. It provides the senior fire officers with the broad perspective on various facets of fire and emergency medical services administration. You must review the Executive Fire Officer Program to review specific requirements to apply. We do have a link to that website within our website. Again, there's very specific requirements that need to be met, such as a transcript will be needed. And certain writing materials will also have to be provided, documents. And so we include information on how to contact our writing and math center for assistance as well. So if there is an interest here, again, I urge you to review these specifics on the Executive Fire Officer Program website. There are certain openings and closings for the period to apply for this, so it will explain that further as well on the website. And lastly, the Students Veterans Association. This is an online group that offers additional support for student veterans and their dependents in one centralized area. Now the main purpose of the CSU SVA is to provide easy to use services that help address a full range of needs, such as financial aid assistance, VA benefit assistance, academic support, disability service, uh, social networking and employment assistance. All of this can be viewed again on our website if there is any interest in looking into this further. I urge you 
to review all of these that are of interest to you. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to career services at columbiasouthern.edu or call 800-977-8449, extension 6551. That is going to send you to career services specifically. Again, my name is Caitlin Garrison. If you wanna address the email to me specifically, that's absolutely okay, but it's also okay if you just send it to career services with your inquiry attached. And I am the point of contact, so I may not have the specific information uh, needed. If, if I do not, I'll be sure to make sure that it is directed to the individual that can assist you in the best way. Again, I thank you for taking the time to watch this presentation. And I look forward to hearing from you if there are any required inquiries for any of these clubs and organizations moving forward.